point of this show was to put these three guys together that, you know, are, are vocal about sports, but to see what they have to say about everything they had you talking this year, right? And then um, we also talked about do not get Kyle Petty, Dennis Eckersley, and Charles Barkley talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I kid you not. All three of them. Fess up. No. Which Real Housewives do you watch? See, you Eric, don't even know what I'm talking about, yeah, do you, no, Kevin? I didn't, no, no. <laughs> we know, we're here, but Eric Snow's not here today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen one or two episodes. Oh, yeah, one yeah, or two. Yeah, 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 it's I'll someone major, right? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, I don't know who Meanie is. Yeah, is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll, be, you'll love their answers about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then the crowd kind of turned on me when I asked. We talked about athletes who come back four or five times. Obviously, we're talking about Brett Favre. And why are people kind of down on him when he's doing so well? Doesn't he have a right to come back to the game? And I asked Charles, well, why, why did you leave the game? How did you know it was time to leave the game? And here's his answer. Tell us the story of how your game ended, basically. Oh, when you can't, oh, when the Charles guys Barkley's who, game has never thank ended. Thank you, man. Thank you. There you go. Never yeah. ended. There you go. There you go. Well, <laughs> your leg gave out. So that, you, you unexpectedly were done. Or kicking your ass, it's time to go. <laughs> I mean, that's the way that's it is. Good game. If you talk to any guy who's played the game, when you start playing against guys who you know can't play dead, and they are beating you like a drum, it's time to go home. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly that's not the case with Brett Favre, right? He's doing all right this year. Exactly. So that's just an example of some of the things that we talked about. But you name it, 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 it was fun, but it was heated as well. Did we talk about what you wanted to talk about? What did you want to talk well, about? You, you talked about it because you talked about Brett Favre. I'm living in Minnesota now. Let me tell you something. Minnesota loves Brett Favre. So the comeback, yeah. is, comeback is well received in, in, in Minnesota with, with Brett Favre. Yeah. I was interested. Did they think that, what, what does the panel think about Brett Favre? Were they, were, they, were they glad he came back? Were they not glad he came back? Well, um, you know, the topic wasn't necessarily about whether they were glad for him. They're like, yeah, if you can play, go ahead. Mm -hmm. It was more like, why is it human nature that when someone comes back, you almost want them to fail? Don't they have a right to come back? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I've, I've said all year long, once you cry on national TV and say you're retiring, I don't think you should come back. Yeah, well, that's, that's it. That's <laughs> when you cry, you're done. Let me, let me ask you this. Now, you've, you've, you've done many interviews, and, and to me it would seem tough to interview guys that uh, every athlete, including ourselves, have um, just trained response answers. You know what I mean? We like to stay in the middle, not politically correct. And I know that you got, I mean, we like to stay politically yeah, correct. Yeah, right, right. I know you got some guys you out there. Keep your job. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, exactly. how was it? Was it tough for you kind of getting, you know, especially on issues, say, about Tiger or say other issues where uh, they're more social issues? Was it hard for you to kind of bring, you know, the real person out of athlete or how did that work? You know, you're right. Like when I interview a congressman or a senator, it's going to be right down the, the party line, it's so right? So safe, right, exactly. But since Charles opened his mouth first, everyone saw <laughs> that. Okay, we oh, it seems to be real. Okay, <laughs> welcome, then. Welcome to my world. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I think you'll enjoy the show. It, it was a real hoot and um, really just things that you've talked about all year. And now three people who probably are going to say what you thought but didn't want to say in front of people, right. they said it. They said it.